Today on JIC Labs, we're going to look at dates and times and the formulas built into Microsoft Excel to make your life easier. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, we have uh, two boxes on our Excel window, date and time. Like we mentioned earlier, we're going to look at built-in equations of Microsoft Excel that allows you to constantly update the time as well as the date. We're going to start at the date and we're going to look at the standard features of what is today's date. If you were to hit equal and type in today and close the parentheses, so you open and close the parentheses with nothing in there and you just hit enter, it's going to give you the date. Today happens to be September 28th, 2021. Now, let's just say you don't want all of that information. You just want the day. So we would come in here and we're going to say day, open the parentheses, and we're going to say today. This will always update. If you open, if you were open this Excel workbook tomorrow, it would change to the 29th. Likely so, if you were to come in here and do the same thing, month, open the parentheses, today, open and close those parentheses and close them for month as well. You're gonna see this gonna report a nine. Same thing for year. Equals today, open and close, and close again, 2021. Let's come in here, insert another row. We're gonna copy these guys, paste them here, and we're gonna come in, add in the apostrophes so you can see these functions. As you can see, it's a very simple functions to allow you to easily have constantly dates that are updating. You may want in the top corner of your Excel to show what date it is. If you print it, it's always up to date and it'll keep updating for you. Using equals today will always have the most up-to-date date, the actual date on your Microsoft Excel workbook whenever you open it up. If you wanted to break things out to the, the days, months, and years, you can use equals day, with the today function, month with the today function, and year with the today function. Again, those will always update. If we were to come back tomorrow, this would update to 928, 2021. This would be 29, this would still be 9, and this would be 2021. You can always just type in the date, 928, 2021. And then you can call this Chick Labs Report. If we were to open this tomorrow, this date would remain the same. If you want a live date that is going to constantly update, utilizing the today function with today, month, year, day, or just the today function will give you always the most up-to-date information. So with this date, you can also do calculating ages. My age, question mark. We're going to come in here, label this cell date of birth. We were born January 1, but not 20, 1981. Today is, again, we would just come in here today, open and close. And then what we would do is we could, there's a couple ways we could do this. Age equals, we can do equal sign. Today is minus the date of birth and hit enter. So that's not what you, the exact format you want to do. You want to come in here, open and close parentheses around your math and divide by 365. Because that is just taken, when you do the dates, just the subtraction, it's going to have the day counts in a date format. But if we want to get an actual number of years, there's 365 days in a year. So we take that subtraction, divide it by 365. We go ahead and hit enter, and you're just over, almost, turning 41. You'll be 40.7 years old. So there's another way you can calculate age and time between dates. It's with the dated if function. So we're gonna come in here and do dated equals dated if. Open the parentheses. We're gonna select our first date which is our date of birth in this example. We're gonna to select today's date, enter a comma, and it needs a third set of data. Right now, we're gonna select 
D15 and hit close the parentheses. This will give us an error because we have no data in D15 as of yet, but we will hit enter and we're gonna say, what's the error? We're gonna come in here and enter Y for years and it's gonna tell us that between these two dates, you're 40 years old, which we've shown up here. Now let's just say we would come in here and enter an M. It will tell us we are 488 months old. If we were to enter a D, we'd be 14,880 days old. That makes you sound really old. So let's just leave it at 40 with years. So what we'll do right now is we're gonna come in here equals oh, apostrophe equals date it if so we're going to say c12 c13 and then here we're referencing d15 and that's how that equation would work now uh, there are some other features where you can do year m ym ym is the difference between the months in the start and end dates the days and years are ignored. You can also use YD. YD is the same thing as above as YM, but it's looking at the difference between the days between the start and the end date. Years of the dates are ignored. So it's pretty much saying it's 270 days between January 1 to September 28th. But again, those are probably rare instances, but for calculating years or age, why in this instance, and you will be good to go. That was dates and a couple of very quick functions just to show you how to keep the most relevant or the actual date on your Excel information. So now let's look at time. You come in here and we equals now open and close the parentheses. Now that does both for you. That does date and time. So if you're wanting to do that, that is the equation I would utilize over just today. It gives you the date and the time. Of course, that is a military time. So that means it is 2.51 in the afternoon. Likely so with just like date, you can use hour, hour, with now, open and close those parentheses, and you'll get 14. Same thing with minute, with now, nest it now, you'll get 52 minutes, and same thing with seconds. Well, actually second, and open and close those. Again, we're gonna come in here, copy these guys over so you can see them. And as, as you notice, as we're working through this, every time we do something, 37, it doesn't refresh. But if I come in here and edit this cell and hit enter, it updates. Today at Jick Labs, we took a very, very brief look at date and time to give you some equations to allows you not to have to every day you enter your Excel sheet to enter in today's date. Now, what we showed you today is not very good if you want a report or a date that is set. You would have to physically type that in and not utilize these functions that are pretty much auto updating. They're gonna give you the most recent date and they're gonna give you the most recent date and time or day, month, year, hours, minutes, and seconds. Those are all be can used in conjunction as you're building your reports. What equation will work best for you is entirely up to you but these are just some samples to make your life a little bit easier. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.